Are you working in Smartsheet and have noticed the unpassable error? Are you wondering why this happens and what you can do to resolve it and ensure it doesn't happen going forward? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because I'm going to be walking you through all of those very things here today. And I've just created an example sheet um, just to run through this um, scenario and I'm going to be walking you through, you know, when it when it appears and, you know, what we can do. And I'll show you why it kind of occurs in a few different examples as well. So first and foremost, it's, it's important to note to note that it will only appear while you are using formulas. You might have noticed that already, but I think it's just important to note that first and foremost. So it's it is an error message and you will only get it when you are using formulas. So the cause is basically, it can be multifactorial. Um, it could be one of these things or it could be several of these um, at the same time. But basically it's where a formula has a problem. Um, it's not been set up correctly and that means that it can't be passed as the name suggests or it can't be interpreted. So basically it, it, Smartsheet cannot understand what you are trying to ask it to do. Um, and in terms of why this can happen, it could be due to a misspelling, you could be using incomplete operators, or you could be using the wrong case for a column name, or you could be using single quotes instead of double quotes. So these are just four different examples. And I'll show you those actually in, in an example here. So really the resolution is, is quite kind of obvious, but what, it, what you'd basically need to do is you need to make sure that everything's set up properly. So you need to make sure your spelling is spot on. You need to make sure that you, you are using operators uh, as they should, should be used. You know, any text strings are using double quotes and not single quotes. Um, so yeah, that, that's basically what you do. So I've, I've got some formula dummy data here in a column uh, and I'm just going to walk you through different examples of where this might have gone wrong. So maybe you can look into your formulas and, and find out where, where, where the issue is. Maybe you need to create the formula again. Maybe that's something you need to do. But in this first example, so we can see the unpassable error, I've put equals sim and then I've, I've obviously tried to total this, this column here. Now we can obviously see the, the issue here. I've, I've spelt some wrong and that's why um, this isn't working. So it may be you need to check the, it may be that you need to check the um, formula function itself. Uh, it looks like I've got another issue in here. Um, so I've just wiped that out and I've done it again. Obviously, there's a referencing issue as well in this one. So equal sum and it's now working. So the unpassable error here looked like a combination of spelling the function wrong and also a referencing issue as well. So make sure that that's you know, in place. Now, in the second one, that's you can see here that there's um, there are no operators. So what we need here is we need some the operators here would be the uh, brackets. So we need the open and close. And what that's basically telling Smartsheet is um, sometimes it's best to just take it out to equal sum, open bracket. Um, what that's basically saying is, you know, we need you to sum everything that falls within this these parameters. So as you'll see, sometimes if you correct it, um, it still doesn't work. So sometimes it's best to just wipe it out and start again. In our third example, you can see we've got another misspelling, this time in the reference table. So I'm gonna wipe that out again. Um, so open bracket, select, left click, drag all the way down, and we've got this again. Now in the fourth example, here is the, the quotes in, well, I've used single quotes, which is why it's not working. So we need to swap these out. And what I've done is a count if statement. So what I want to say, but what I'm trying to do in this, this formula here is I want to count every everything in this column here that starts with one. So, I need to switch these out to double quotation marks. You can't use single ones in Smartsheet. So when I've done that, it's gone to one. So if I was obviously to add some more data to this column, we should see that this updates to three. And if I took one of those out, it should go to two. So that is the unpassable error in Smartsheet. It's a formula based error and it basically means that your formula is broken in some kind of way. Smartsheet cannot recognize it. So you need to basically look for where it is broken down and these are the, the main kind of areas in which to do so. So take a look at your formulas. As you can see through this quick example and, and demo here today, 
you might need to set up the formula again from scratch because sometimes even if you you know you play around with it it still doesn't work so wipe it out make sure everything is set up properly and that should resolve it so i hope this video was useful if it was please do hit the like button and do consider subscribing uh, i've got a lot of youtube uh, smart sheet training videos on my channel so it's worth heading over there and, ch and checking those out as well so with that said i hope you have an excellent day